does the Bible guide us in serving others? The Bible provides numerous examples and teachings on serving others, highlighting the importance of humility, compassion, and selflessness in our interactions with fellow human beings. Jesus modeled servant leadership by washing his disciples' feet and instructing them to follow his example of sacrificial love and service. Scripture encourages believers to use their God-given gifts, talents, and resources to meet the physical, emotional, and spiritual needs of others, showing kindness, generosity, and hospitality to all. Serving others is not only a demonstration of genuine faith, but also a means of glorifying God and advancing His kingdom on earth. What does the Bible teach about the nature of faith? Faith in the Bible is portrayed as a confident assurance in God's character, promises, and faithfulness, even in the face of uncertainty, doubt, or adversity. It involves trusting in God's sovereignty and providence, believing that He is who He says He is and will do what He has promised to do. Faith is essential for salvation, as Scripture declares that we are justified by grace through faith in Jesus Christ. It is also pleasing to God, as demonstrated by the faith of biblical heroes such as Abraham, Moses, and David. Genuine faith manifests itself in obedience, perseverance, and a willingness to surrender control to God, regardless of circumstances or outcomes. How can we use the Bible to find comfort in difficult times? The Bible offers abundant sources of comfort and encouragement for believers facing trials, hardships, or sorrow. Its pages are filled with promises of God's presence, provision, and peace, assuring us of His unfailing love and faithfulness. By meditating on Scripture, we can find solace in God's promises, draw strength from His character, and receive assurance of His care and protection. Additionally, participating in prayer, worship, and fellowship with other believers can provide spiritual support and a sense of community during challenging seasons of life. Through the comforting truths found in the Bible, we can experience hope, healing, and restoration in the midst of adversity. What does the Bible say about the relationship between faith and works? The relationship between faith and works is a central theme in the New Testament, emphasizing the inseparable connection between genuine faith and the fruit it produces in a believer's life. While salvation is received by grace through faith alone, Scripture teaches that true faith inevitably results in transformed attitudes and actions characterized by love, obedience, and good works. Works are not a means of earning salvation but rather evidence of a living faith that has been regenerated by the Holy Spirit. Faith without works is described as dead and ineffective, whereas authentic faith manifests itself in acts of compassion, justice, and service towards others, reflecting the transformative power of God's grace in our lives. How can we understand the concept of the Trinity in the Bible? The concept of the Trinity is a foundational doctrine of the Christian faith, affirming the belief in one God who exists eternally as three distinct persons, the Father, the Son, Jesus Christ, and the Holy Spirit. While the term, Trinity, is not explicitly mentioned in Scripture, the Bible contains numerous passages that support this triune nature of God, revealing each person's distinct roles and relationships within the Godhead. The Trinity is best understood as a divine mystery that transcends human comprehension, yet it is revealed progressively throughout Scripture, particularly in passages such as the Baptism of Jesus, where all three persons are present, the Great Commission, where believers are baptized in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, and the Apostolic Benedictions, which invoke the grace of all three persons. The Trinity underscores the unity, diversity, and relational nature of God, inviting believers to worship and glorify each person of the Trinity equally while affirming their distinctiveness and cooperation in accomplishing the work of redemption and restoration.